monetary authorities kept key interest rates unchanged following a policy meeting Thursday. They said inflation remains manageable and downplayed likely risk from a Trump presidency. The monetary board's decision is based on its assessment that the inflation continues to be manageable. With a gradual return to the inflation target range expected over the policy horizon. The overnight borrowing rate remains at 3%, while overnight lending and deposit rates were kept steady at 3.5% and 2.5% respectively. Reserve requirements for banks were also unchanged. The Monetary Board also flagged some upside risks ahead for inflation. The overall balance of risks surrounding inflation outlook remains tilted to the upside, owing largely to depending petitions for adjustments in electricity rates along with the proposed tax policy reform program. Inflation forecasts for 2016 in the next two years were revised upward to 1.8% from 1.7% for 2016, 3% from 2.9% for 2017, and to 2.9% from 2.6% for 2018. Banco Central Deputy Governor Diwa Guinigundo said inflation having shot up to 2.3% in September and October from 1.8% in August was one of the factors behind the higher projections. The peso fell to a seven-year low in September and has since remained in 48 to the dollar territory. It closed at 48.66 on Thursday from 48.59 the day before, tracking the other regional currencies that fell on news that Donald Trump would be the next U.S. president. We are not concerned about uh, the level of the exchange rate. It's more on the, uh, on the volatility in the foreign exchange market that uh, we have to monitor uh, regularly. It is important that we keep uh, the volatilities in check because that can affect uh, the sentiment of the business community as well as the um, investor sentiment. Kinigundo sought to allay fears over the possible negative impact of a Trump presidency, saying his policies may turn out differently from his campaign rhetoric. It is too early, you know. It's too early, too premature for us to comment on uh, the presidency of uh, the elected president of the United States. Um, but just looking at the acceptance uh, acceptance speech of, uh, of Trump, we, we will see the, the disconnect between the old, the pronouncements during the campaign and uh, what he pledges to do moving, uh, moving forward. If Trump truly wants to work for the good of all Americans, Guinigundo says he should not implement tighter immigration and job outsourcing rules, as this will hurt the U.S. economy. Bev Natividad, Bloomberg TV, Philippines.